Hello guys, in this video I am going to discuss the reduce function in the python programming language. So a reduce function is used when you want to perform some kind of computation on a given sequence object. So let's see some examples to understand how the reduce function works, right? So let's say I have a list like this, right? And I want to find the product of the elements of this list. So how can I do this using the reduce function? So for that let me define like prod is equal to reduce okay so the reduce function takes two arguments the first argument is the function which is going to be executed for every element and then the sequence object so the sequence object is my list right so what is going to be my um the function so i usually we use a lambda function here so my lambda function goes like this lambda the arguments are going to be x and y so x is the current element and y is the result from the um, last iteration so I will explain it uh, in a more better way in a few moments so lambda x y is equal to x into y that's it and I think this seems fine so if I try to print the product I get the result as 120 right which is correct so let's see how this um, whole thing is working here so first of all the x is given the value of the current element which is 1 and y is also given the value 1 and you get the value as 1 right after that x becomes 2 and y is given the value of the previously computed result which was 1 so it becomes 2 and 1 and their product becomes 2 right then it is 3 the next element and it is multiplied by the um, previously computed result and it becomes 6 then it is 4 into 6 equals to 24 and then it is 5 into 24 which is equal to 120 right so this is how um, the complete process is going on here in the reduce function so this is how we go about computing uh, doing some computation in our list okay so let's see one more example for more clarity um, let's say I want to find the greatest element in my list so how can I do that so let's say um, there is a variable greatest which is equal to reduce and the lambda function is going to be lambda x comma y such that okay so y if y is greater than x else x that's it so this is my lambda function here and my sequence object is my list right so so this is the lamb uh, this is how i get the greatest function uh, greatest element in my list let me print it to see if it is correct or not okay so look at that i get the result as 5 which is correct so this is how we can use the reduce function to um, do some kind of computation on given sequence object like list or tuple etc so this is where reduce function comes pretty handy so i hope it is clear that's it from this video thanks for watching